I've just been re-watching these clips and I've kind of got a little compilation video put together of Fresh and Fit and them announcing that they've been demonetized on YouTube, which is still big news on my side of the internet because of how big they were and because of how successful their platform had become over the years. It's kind of wild to see that everything is kind of falling apart now in sort of like real time for them, right? It's kind of wild to see this kind of play out the way it's sort of playing out for them so you know on one side i kind of feel bad for them but i think on the other side if you're a sensible person you kind of knew this day was going to come somewhere along the line but anyway with that being said a part of me now thinks when will we ever reach a point in life or in culture where we just let people be you know you might not agree with fresh and fit you might not agree with what they say you might not agree with how they approach certain subject matters you might not agree with how they treat women black women people from marginalized communities, minorities, whatever it may be. You may not like their rhetoric. You may think they're harmful. But by and large, if you're not a fan of theirs, you probably will never and have never watched anything that they did. You just maybe see clips and that's about it. So I'm wondering, when will we get to a point in culture where we just let people be? We don't agree with what they say. We just say, all right, you're a fucking idiot. We make it known why we think they're idiots. And we just let them be because we're never going to be into their co content. They're not making content for us, but they definitely do have a fan base that enjoys what they do. So why not just let them be and let the fans enjoy what they want from them and let the people that don't like them, the quote unquote haters, hate in their side of the internet. Why does it have to be when the haters don't like you or when you're not fucking agreeable to the mass public that that means that you then get plat deplatformed or that your monetization gets taken away from you i want you to kind of rest with that thought on the back of your head and i'm going to say some more after i play this little clip as you guys know we had a show scheduled earlier with um, psych with psych hacks but we had to uh cancel because we got some really uh, you know sucky news um <laughs> crazy news yeah crazy news real talk yeah <sighs> Is this the end, bro? Because uh, we got some bad news, man. Uh, I mean, when I heard, I was I was shocked because I mean, we love YouTube, man. Yeah, we love streaming. Yeah, and um, at this point, I feel like our whole lives are revolved around streaming and like yeah, adding value to to you know people online. It's just like it won't be the same, bro. Yeah, it sucks, guys. It really does suck. Um, you know, fortunately, we you know we made some moves etc you know and we kind of saw knew that the type of content that we make for us to be able to give you this content we have to it comes at a cost it comes at a cost dude. and it won't be here forever yeah yeah and, and, and we you know, know Fresh always said this you know enjoy us while you can <laughs> yeah. uh they thought we was capping man yeah they thought it was a joke and and you know we did we made moves on the side knowing that this could potentially happen and guys we, we the channel has been kicked off the youtube partner program just keep it straight if with you look right now you can't even super chat or you can't remember. even super chat right now brutal yep. uh, so this is the beginning of the end of this era hello it's funny how the jews who control instagram the girls are getting more naked for these random people who just what's going on here <laughs> we, <laughs> we have the bags yeah, we got he's the media he's, he's gonna be canceled yes. by tomorrow mm -hmm. i've already <sighs> contacted adl don't love the muslim love us we control everything jesus christ that bitch is a liar Ashy, you ugly ass Jewish bitch. You know, what was the gas chamber part? Why did you do? You, now you do hey, all my fucking thoughts? asshole. No. <laughs> How many times do I got to tell you're gonna get canceled for I'm that? Sorry, He's you're the right. chosen people. Man. Thank you. Just, I, why, why would God, God choose five foot? Bank, you dirty uh, why, why would God choose you, five foot two people? You bank with TD, <laughs> TD Bank, probably right? You don't. Yeah, your account's gone. Your fucking account's gone, buddy. He's. I think he's a Jewish man. Of course he is. I'm not even lying. Yeah. Shut him over here. Look at this Jew. Obesity is not a good sign of good genes, is it? Obesity is not a good sign of good genes, is it? Hey, I can't hear the synagogue of herpes. Well, did it? Obesity comes from you Jews affecting our media I'm with your fucking. I'm the reason you're fat. No, you guys brought McDonald's and all that shit, right? Before you Jews came here, we were eating breakfast, bacon, and eggs, okay? To destroy us and to, to fuck a wall of the whale, the wailing wall. No, we're going to cancel him tomorrow. Oh, he's gone. I already okay, told the ADL. I never got the call. <laughs> hey, man. Oh my. Y'all are getting canceled tomorrow. <laughs> 
Six million died. <laughs> 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 six million dollars. Six, six million. million. It was exactly six, six million. million. It was it was a, not a no. hair less. What about five nine 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 nine? Is that okay? ADL's right. being notified. Uh, <laughs> 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 Myron Stein is here. Anybody need a loan, by the way? High interest rates, but I got I can hook y'all up. Oh, and I own the banks. Hey, you, Hitler, you know why I hate Hitler? Because oh, he didn't even kill six million. Just like Einstein, Jesus your Jew Christ. fuck said it's a motionless Let plane. The earth is an observable motionless plane. I heard there was a Jew. I heard there. <laughs> Where's he? Where'd he go? We've got no more jokes now because like Arabs didn't even do 9 11. It was the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> no, remember the Jews try to the Jews try to convince us that oh. Einstein is the biggest brand. Women are not built to handle masculine problems. We are being vulnerable with a woman is some of the worst advice that modern women give to men. Because if I sit there and I cry to you, oh my god, my life is horrible, blah, blah blah blah, you might sit there and console me for a bit, but deep down you're like, you fucking bitch. I left a job that I truly loved <laughs> to do this, right? Because. <sighs> I shouldn't be admitting this, but saving children, right? That was great. Uh huh. But saving you guys is better. I bet it was. Here comes the tears. Not a single tear seen, by the way. Supposedly cried, but where's the tears? We don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, this is tough, bro. Cause uh, <laughs> for our lesson for this, you know. <sighs> we didn't miss a day, honestly. Um, it's tough. <laughs> we gave up so much to uh, give you guys value. So, um, you know what, Myron? You're right. I do think you're a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, you get the point, right? So my whole question is, when will we get to a point in culture where you just let people be? When will that happen? But then on the same token, you just have to come back to the point that I made in the previous live stream from the random show, where I essentially said, these guys should have seen this coming. Their content was way too divisive. Their content was way too quote unquote edgy. Their content was way too against the popular narrative, was way too against what most of YouTube stands for, which is mostly kind of favoring the left side of politics and culture and social issues and shit. They should have been aware of that and planned accordingly or tone down the content. But if you don't want to tone down the content, plan accordingly and maybe have other platforms where you can go and say all that crazy shit about Jews, about black women, about women in general, about minorities, about relationships, about sex, about whatever, money. Go to other platforms where you can kind of say that stuff freely. But I would honestly love to us to get to a point in culture where we all just say, hey, if we don't like this stuff, we just turn off and we just pay attention to the things that we love. Instead of it always being, hey, I don't like what I'm listening to. Can I get it deplatformed? It kind of, to me, feels a little bit similar to how we are in London with how crappy our club scene is here. Because essentially, <clears throat> it feels like, sorry, <clears throat> for the most part, most councils across the UK have this policy where they favor the homeowners over the club owners. For instance, if you open up a new club in a derelict part of London where no one really gives a shit about and you make it pop in and it now becomes a hotbed of culture and the scene and all these young cool people start to move there and start to start businesses and whatever it may be, the council will see that grant a fucking, you know, um, a property developer permission to then build an amazing skyscraper of fucking crappy homes, you know, that look like glass and steel and rubbish, expensive coffee shops that will then take over the places that were there and made that place cool, hashtag gentrification. But then sometimes, even if they let the club stay there, what will end up happening is that the people that moved in there, quote unquote, first or made that place somewhat popping, 
will then not have any say in the long-term future of the club and that space that they're in. They will always favour the opinion of the homeowner. So if the homeowners complain and say, hey, I hate the noise, I hate all the fucking antisocial be behaviour that happens after the club is finished, they will most likely always side with the homeowner. And I feel like on in, in social media or in content generation, a lot of the moves and a lot of the fucking punishments are usually done that way where they only favor the people who don't like the content like if you don't like these people they most likely are going to demonetize them or deplatform them so that you don't have to hear them the same way you heard them before because i'd imagine demonetization it's never happened to me and touch would it never does but i would imagine it probably does a lot of harm to your channel because it probably takes you out of the algorithm. It probably stops you getting recommended if you can't get monetized because if you can't get monetized, YouTube can't get anything out of your channel. So why would they push you in their kind of algorithm feed or whatever it may be? It doesn't really make any sense. And you might even get kind of, and we already know, um, you know, we already know sort of like back end, sort of like black marking a channel and what, I forgot what the term of it. We actually know that stuff exists. If you work in social media companies or if you to startups you know there's always a back end where you can essentially mark a user as like not safe and not maybe promote their stuff on the main page and there'll be none the wiser that's been done so you can imagine the kind of damage demonetization can do to a channel that kind of relies on virality relies on always being a part of the public conversation can do to a channel like fresh and fit but like i said before they should have seen this coming and this wasn't that big of a surprise if you were really paying attention to stuff that was going on social media but i think these guys legitimately had their head in the sand and now they're suffering for it